I've just um, coated the top of the wall with a um, SBR just so that it's belt and braces um, and I'll also put a my goodness me the scaffolders are making a racket um, I'll also put a slurry mix on top of that and also on the back of the slabs when I lay them because they are very susceptible um, I've learned over the years to just prise their way loose if you just put them on ordinary mortar mix so you really need to slurry the back of it slurry the top of the wall and also the back of the slab or the coping stone actually so this is my mix for today that's four to one that's four shovels of sand to one of cement and just sort of belt and braces as well i've put um some sbr in it um so it just helps to keep the mortar really strong so that's what we're on today uh, setting these coping stones on so that's my mix and I've also coated the top of the wall said this the other day with SBR as well and I'll put a slurry mix on the back of the um, the coping stones so let's get on with that so we're all ready to start the job now and this is the tools that you'll need to do these coping stones so you want a line and pins are brickies line and pins or just a line will do but they're quite good for you to hook in under the the coping stones as you're doing it um, some people would tell you a rubber mallet but I just use a, a brickies hammer just to tap it down um, this I'll show you um, it's like an emergency pointer it's actually quite good for pointing in general um, that's how you point the joints um, and just a bit of hose pipe is really quite good it's it's the perfect width for it it's about a fingers width so yeah I'll show you doing that I'll show myself doing that in a bit uh, gauge and trowel that's quite good um, for just putting mortar in the joints if they're a little bit shy of mortar and a bricky trowel pair of gloves you'll need um, a level not for the first bit, well, for my first bit any, anyway, um, because the whole wall is just rising up. It levels out at about this point, I think. No, this point, I think, yeah. Um, so that's, that's nice and level, but this rises up. So how do you get the coping stones level? Well, you have to set your line at one end and just a couple of meters I would say away and then set the depth of your next coping stone and then you string a line in between and start to just lay your coping stones in. Uh, the other thing you'll need of course is mortar and you need some slurry mix to just put on the back of the coping stones because otherwise they will just come off over the years the, the moisture will get underneath um, uh, wind and weathering ice and so forth and it'll just prise it'll just loosen them all so you always better to put that on um, so let's get on with that then so first thing to do is to set out all your coping stones and get them cut now I haven't showed this so I'll maybe show it on the um, the circle at the top there but you basically, I've, I've allowed, allowed about a 10 mil overhang. Um, so you just want to keep your eye just so that you've got a nice curve and you can see it's, it's coming around nicely. Um, I only cut them on one side um, just as you're coming round the corner. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really need it on both sides of the, of the stone. Um, You've got enough play just to um, just to to kind of wend it round the corner. Um, I'll just show you. The joints are all quite nice.
Just show you how to set out these um, coping stones just on the curve so I've done all, all these ones as you can see um, so you just want to get the curve the way you want it and then you want a fairly even gap that that's okay that'll be kind of hidden by the mortar so it's slightly wider that end but it doesn't really matter too much because it's what's kind to the eye this one though so you just mark that um, so it's it's parallel so it's nice and straight and this one here and then I'll show you how to do that one afterwards with that so the next one and make sure it's just straight parallel along the line there
yeah, I'm happy with that. So then you want to make sure it's just where that's crossing over there where the two bits meet.
just support that underneath there.
So that's me finished the top. I'll just put these bits of um, uh, extra slabs over the top of the joints because the sun is so bright today and it damages the, the cement so you really need to cover it up as best because otherwise it just wrecks the, the cement. Anyway, I'm going to do some straightening out in the garden so let's get that done. 